Hi, I'd like to show you how easy it is to get Dayback up and running, especially if you're already using Dayback for FileMaker. Um, so this is how we start. It wants us to sign in, but we don't have an account yet, so I'm going to create one. So let me just make a new account, uh, john99 at seedcode.com. Give myself a password. Click sign up here. There we go. Don't want to save that. This is our 30-day trial has been created. That's great. We click close. And it brings us here to settings and uh, to begin setting up Dayback. And we've already done the first thing we've created an account. The second thing we'll do is create a calendar source. So, you know, where are we going to get our events from? And then eventually invite other users to use the calendar. So if I click on go to sources here, it's going to select FileMaker server and then ask me to add a new source. And this is the big change between configuring things here. I need to save that. And configuring things in FileMaker Pro is that there are no scripts to import into your FileMaker solution. All the configuration is done here. You do need a layout, but if you're already using Dayback for FileMaker, you've already got that layout. So let's just uh, fill this out. So let's see, FileMaker server source, I'll just call this my server. And the server address I happen to have written down. So this is the address of our FileMaker server, our IP address. If you're not sure exactly um, what any of these things mean, you can just click details here. So it's HTTPS, that's our port. So the FMXJ relay, this is a small PHP file that you'll place on your FileMaker server. If I click details here, you can even see a little link to download it and then some notes about how uh, to change the credentials. The, the reason we use this file is this way Dayback doesn't need any of your FileMaker or login information. Dayback's gonna pass in your Dayback username and then you use this little file to map that to a real FileMaker account so that Dayback Online can still respect your FileMaker access privileges. Again, this lets you control the security with a file on your server and Dayback doesn't need to know anything about it, uh, which is great. Okay, so the name of our file over here is uh, Dayback. This is the name of the FileMaker file that's got my events. And since we're using um, dayback.com, I know that this is the source number one layout and that's our date format. Now, for the rest of the field mapping, if I weren't using Dayback for FileMaker, I'd have to put in, well, okay, what's the primary key in my events table and what field am I using for my start date? I might have to find some calculations or add some calculations to my file. And here's some definitions for these calculations that I can copy out right here. But because I'm using Dayback for FileMaker, this is all done. And, and this is all working for me. So I can come all the way down here to test my settings and see if I got this right. This is gonna make sure we can see the server, you know, that web publishing is running, that that layout is actually in your file and, and not mistyped. It takes a second to grab this. Okay, but pass, 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 that's great. Um, if, it, if the test didn't pass, uh, you click show details here, so you see some more notes about uh, what to do. You know, if you see any errors, there's a little link to troubleshooting. But this all passed, so I can now click back to FileMaker and I should see some events. That's how easy it is to point this web application at your FileMaker Pro server. If you're already using Dayback for FileMaker, you already have the fields and the, sorry, the field definitions and the layout that's needed. And uh, you can just get in here and rock and roll and start changing things, uh, switch over to the week view, scroll around. You can see it's, it's really fast and uh, pretty cool. And uh, that's the one, uh, my server that I put in. And you see our resources and status filters are, are here. This is a little different than in uh, FileMaker. You know, in FileMaker Pro, we get these from your FileMaker file. Here, these are maintained right here in Dayback Online. So when you first come in, you'll wanna set these up to match the ones you have in FileMaker and same thing with your resources. Again, just by you know changing the name or clicking plus here to create new ones. But uh, it's pretty easy to get started and uh, I hope you'll check it out. Thanks.